What's up guys? There's been some exciting things happening with the Chase IHG credit cards since last year and I figured I'd do one whole video about all the topics around those IHG cards. The first thing I'll talk about is the highest ever sign up bonus that's currently available on the IHG Premier and five reasons why you might want to apply for that card. Then if you have the old IHG Select credit card, which I have, I'll show you why you definitely shouldn't upgrade to the Premier and why it makes complete sense to have both of them. Having both of these credit cards will give you really amazing benefits, so let's get into it. Hey guys, my name is Rami and welcome to Points Pointers. My goal for this channel is to help you earn and redeem as many points as possible to upgrade your travels for little to no money. So if you're interested in travel hacking and award travel, then please consider subscribing. You can also download my free 10 step travel hacking guide in the description below. Let's start with the first reason you should consider applying for the new IHG Premier card. It's not completely new, but it was only introduced last April, which makes it kind of new. It's under a year old. And that first reason is the highest sign up bonus ever offered by this card. Right now you can earn up to 120,000 IHG points. That bonus is split as 80,000 points when you spend $2,000 in the first three months, then 40,000 points when you spend a total of $5,000 in the first six months. So that's a very nice bonus with an achievable spend requirement. Before this, the bonus was only 80,000 points, so an additional 40,000 points is great. Next up is the benefit that makes this card totally worth it on its own, which is the anniversary free night certificate. Even though this benefit was recently updated to only cover hotels that cost up to 40,000 points per night, it still covers the large majority of IHG hotels worldwide. You won't get the top IHG hotels in the world, but you can easily get value that is way more than the $89 annual fee on this card. I recently stayed at the Intercontinental Bali Resort using the free night certificate and that hotel goes for just under $200 per night. So that's more than double the cost of the annual fee. As a side note, I actually used the free certificate I got from my old IHG Select card which only cost me $49 in annual fees, so that's even a higher value. The third reason to get this card is the fourth free night on award redemptions. This is probably the second best benefit of the card after the free night certificate. If you stay for four consecutive nights on an award redemption, then you only have to redeem points for the first three nights. This is great since it can be used an unlimited number of times and you can even use it to book multiple rooms at the same hotel. So this is like getting a 25% discount every time you stay for four nights at an IHG hotel using points. Reason number four to consider the IHG Premier card is getting IHG Platinum status just for having the card for as long as you have the card. This is an awesome perk that comes with things like free upgrades, bonus points, late checkout, and other benefits. The fifth reason might not be as enticing because it's a statement credit for global entry or TSA pre-check application fees. Many of you probably already have one or more cards that offer this same benefit like the City Prestige, the Amex Platinum or the Chase Sapphire Reserve or many other cards that offer the same benefit. It can still be good to have so you can gift maybe the global entry or TSA pre-check to a friend or a travel companion. Now let's talk about the old IHG Select card for a minute and how it comes to play with this card. The first thing you need to know is that you can actually have both cards at the same time and you can also earn the bonus on the new card even if you have the old one. That's actually noteworthy because that's not the case with the Chase Hyatt cards. If you currently have the old one, you don't qualify to get the new World of Hyatt card so this is an amazing opportunity to have both IHG cards and stack their benefits. You should know though that the IHG card now falls under the Chase 524 rule. So if you open five or more cards in the last 24 months with any bank, you won't be able to get the new IHG card. If you have the old IHG Select card, I highly recommend against canceling it or upgrading it to the new Premier card. It's pretty special to have a card that is not available for new customers that comes with great benefits with such a low $49 annual fee. Having both cards allows you to stack their benefits which will give you outsized value. For example, 
The first thing that you can stack is the free night certificate. Both cards offer one free night, so having both cards will give you two free nights every anniversary year. Another thing that's cool is that the old card has a unique benefit which is 10% refund on redeemed points, up to 100,000 refunded points per year. And the new card offers a fourth night free on award redemptions. So stacking those two benefits together will give you amazing value on four or more night stays. Let's say you stay four nights at a hotel that costs 40,000 points per night. Instead of paying 160,000 points, you'll only pay 120,000 points using the fourth night free benefit. Then you'll also get 12,000 points back from the 10% rebate benefit, which means you paid 108,000 points instead of 160,000 points. That's a savings of 32.5%, which is amazing. So that's it guys about all the exciting stuff happening with the IHG credit cards. Let me know in the comments what you think, which of these cards you have, and have you used the three night certificate at a cool hotel. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe because every week I'm publishing videos that will help you earn a ton of credit card points and frequent flyer miles that will enable you to travel the world for little to no money.